Hello everyone and hello YouTube subscribers. I just wanted to share with you the app that I'm working on for my brand new course, which is Mac OS Programming with Sif UI. And this is the second app. The first app is a Reminders app that we will be building and I've covered that in previous video. So let's go ahead and take a look at this app. So this is a Maps app that we are trying to rebuild uh, with some of the functionality, not all. So let me go ahead and search for some coffee spots. So you can see these are all the coffee spots near my current location. It will show you the name of the shop as well as the actual uh, mileage. I can go ahead and press enter. And now you can see the different locations on the map. I can press or click on a particular location. I can see kind of like a snapshot of that location. And I can see the phone number. I can see the actual address and I can click on the get directions and I can also see all the direction along with the route. So you can see the route over here. It goes from point A to point B. From the left hand side, if I want to select a certain bakery like Rao Bakery, I can go ahead and select, select, click direction or get direction. I can get all the directions also. And the same is true for any one of these things. So you can see that we can click on any one of those things and get the directions, all right? You can even click on any one of those items, get the directions, and it will give you step-by-step -step directions. So this is what we will be building in, in a tutorial uh, about Mac OS and programming related to uh, Swift UI. A uh, couple of things that would involve in this, you will see that Mac OS or Swift UI for Maps is not that powerful, so we have to revert back to MK Map View for this. Uh, it's still a Swift UI app, but uh, we, we did use a bit of programming using UI view representable and all that stuff or NS view representable. All right, so this will be the app that we'll be uh, building.